I feel like I always got to open this up with a with a guilty expression on my face. Like, I know I ain't been here in a while. Sorry, bro. What's good, y'all? Welcome back A to another video on the main channel. Uh, main channel? Well, this is for sure the main channel. This is the channel that took me off, got me to where I am today, and I dipped off and doing my thing over on Iberlizzi. If you're not on Iberlizzi, I didn't know private physical internet still made uh, 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 sound. I'll see you later. Ooh, she just dabbed me up like a real n <laughs> Well, I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. It, it... Just come over, just come over here. I mean, come over there, right? I'm saying here because I feel like I've been treating these two channels like it's two separate communities. It might be, it's really not though. But in the in the case that you haven't moved over there yet, I do want to update y'all on some things because like I say every video, I, I really want to come back on this channel. I just don't know if it's going to be me screaming at shit. It will be though, right? I'm, I'm already screaming at y'all now. Um, but real quick, if you don't know, I am streaming on Twitch, gaming on iReleasey. Um, I recently moved to Texas. I've been in Texas since last year, but I recently moved to Austin, Texas, and I am in a, in a brand new office, right? Brand new whip just hopped in. I can pass that like Stockton. What's good, y'all? This is my new office. Go ahead and get you some water. I know you're thirsty, bro. I know you're thirsty, but this is the new space. This is where I be doing my videos at. This is called the Easy Gang Stud, but you're not here for that. I know you're not. You're probably honestly not even here for this type of video, but I'm gonna post it anyway because this is still hilarious and in the same vein that y'all, I already know y'all y'all wanna see, you know, I know what y'all wanna see. But until I actually get some things going over here, I'm gonna keep dropping these easy tunes. Again, what easy tunes is, is a series where I take an episode of a cartoon or show or whatever, and we literally watch it and crack jokes, bro. As a, as a community as a community. So y'all have no excuse to sit up here and be like, I ain't seen this dude Berlizzi in months. It's cause you don't want to. Still love y'all though. I be hearing the comments, I be hearing the tweets, the messages and everything like that. Y'all still miss that 2016, 17 vibe. I know y'all do. And I'm gonna do my best to, to bring that to you. But just know we're not in that time period no more. So when y'all see the video start to flow out, let's just expand our minds to what could be possible, right? Because we can't move back in the past. Nobody that was doing that kind of content back then is still doing that same shit. But at the same time, bro, I love y'all and I want to make each of us happy. I've been making myself happy, very happy over on Iberlizzi. But it's time to come back to my roots and do what needs to be done. Because I be seeing a lot of BS from these, from these shows, bro. From these cartoons, bro. A lot of stuff has just been getting slid on. I can't let it slide no more. I just can't let it slide no more. So as you watch this video, enjoy it, have fun, laugh, feel free to do that. But also just know we getting some things worked out because I've already kind of returned on Iberlizzi to where people are like, okay, this dude is uploading again. I'll be honest, this ain't even the time for this though. Enjoy this bro, SpongeBob, right? I might make an update video for y'all too, but SpongeBob, right? Y'all remember that episode of SpongeBob where they was just on there being foul mouth cussing and stuff? What was they, what was they, what was they really saying, bro? We watched that episode of SpongeBob on Twitch. Um, it was super hilarious. And these are the high, well, this is actually the video itself. So I hope that y'all enjoy this. Y'all enjoy the two previous easy tunes. So I know that y'all are going to get a kick out of this one. And with that being said, man, I hope that y'all enjoy the video. I love y'all and I'll see you very soon. Peace. This program to bring you uh, Friday night tunes. You know how we do. Easy gang, yeah, I'm here with me and my crew. Uh, and uh, all over your school. Wait, I still get good grades. I'm still trying to make my motherfucking pay every day. If you ain't, then you wasting your motherfucking pay. Uh, yeah, you know I'm finna spit it. You know I got my easy gang limited edition. <laughs> You would think you would think Nickelodeon like after my channel the way that they be trying to f me up for us. Anyway, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another installment of that Easy Tunes. I haven't seen SpongeBob 
I haven't watched an episode of SpongeBob in I don't know how many years, bro. Maybe maybe one. Maybe maybe one. I just don't watch TV. I don't think I even watched one episode of SpongeBob or Nickelodeon or a cartoon all year besides anime. First thing first that I'm noticing, look at this nigga mouth, bro. Bro, that look like Joe mouth, bro. That look like a, like a 24-year-old mouth with a 60-year-old face, bro. What's going on in that nasty ass, nosy ass parrot? He don't even know English. Are y'all ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Dapper has one job. Say something back. Bark. <laughs> Wait, what do birds do? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is it called when birds do? Chirp. Quack. Ooh, who lives in a pineapple? Why did I just go underwater? I don't understand. Did you just drown all the kids? That it really is the flying Dutchman. He just killed all them kids. Can't hear you. This dude went like this to these little kids. Oh, oh. who lives in a pineapple? Oh, I can't breathe down here. All right, let's watch. Let's just take a look at the symbolism. What is this right here? Why did they have to include this on the show? Whoa, bro. I was a Boy Scout back in the day. I have to remind y'all, like, I was a Boy Scout. I was out in the nature pitching tents. Not like that, bro. Stop. Stop. This is about cartoons. I was in the woods pitching tents, cooking up my breakfast burritos using only Ziplocs and boiled water. I was out there really doing my thing, bro. I know all types of knots, all types of, uh... I really don't know much except for how to pitch a tent, bro. They fucked me up. I know how to I know how to pitch a tent and sell some popcorn. That shit is trash. What a waste of my time. Real quick, you guys. I hope that you are enjoying the video. I know y'all are. You ain't got to tell me, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, real quick, I wanted to shout out today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Raycon Headphones. So why exactly is Raycon so awesome? Well, let's start off by saying that this company is founded by Ray J himself. Bruh. Ray J, y'all. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Cardi B, J.R. Smith, Brandy, they are all obsessed with Raycons. Raycon offers their wireless earphones in a range of different colors, and they're super comfortable and come with a bunch of various different fit options. I got teeny tiny ears, bro, and a big ass head. I need some options, bro. The compact carrying case can charge your earphones four times on a single charge. Four times? That's a lot of music. Unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycons actually come with a sleek and stylish, no dangles, no wires, no stems. Super clean. What was that? Oh, I can't hear you over the excellent bass booming in my ears from my Raycon earbuds. Raycon earbuds actually start off at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds that are on the market, y'all. These sound just as amazing as any top brands that you know. Their latest model, the E25, is their best one yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, bruh, more bass and more compact, you can't go wrong. It also comes in fun new colors. I had to go with the black, bruh. It's black history, man, bruh. Black and proud, bro. Click the link in the description to get 15% off your order. You will not be disappointed. Shout out Ray J. Shout out Raycon. Thank you for sponsoring. Let's get back to the video. Closing time. Well, see this dude about to cry because he has to close down his shop. You about to reopen first thing in the morning, Mr. Krabs? See you later, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob is out of there. Let me ask y'all, how many of y'all will let y'all boss grab you by one hand across the front of the forehead like that? How many of y'all would allow that? Type one if you said, I mean, the job's a job, or type two if you would have squared up on him. Let me know. I would have had to square up, bro. KO. I would have had to light Mr. Crab ass up. I don't care if, if this is the only job available. We don't ever see nobody else working. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. Nobody else had a job in this show. Niggas cried about their legs. They screamed about chocolate. Chocolate! Nobody else is working. What do what do Larry the Lobster do? Take that pile of filth out with you. Squidward, why don't you take it out? You already bagged it up. You did the worst part. All your hands is dirty. Take it outside. Okay. Fat head squid. You said I can't make fat head jokes? It's cool. Oh, this okay, I'm remembering now. What kind of form is that? Nematodes. Was that kind of racist? Bro, I didn't even notice that before. Nematodes are people too. And he said, ha, nematodes. But y'all wanna get on me though. Alright. Good. That's a good that's a good friend right there. Ah. Hmm. 
friend. That's a good friend. What is this? What is this like position that the camera is in right now? Bro. Crabs is a do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Where was your truck at? Yo, yo, SpongeBob, you just gonna let it? Yo, who was that? We did get somebody with a job. I'm not even mad at it. He had no truck. He literally just walked up and walked off. I didn't hear a car start and stop. Did you hear engines? Kiss your mother with that mouth. I wanted to know though, what do y'all think he said right there? Crabs is a what? Y'all can say it up there because we can't get you to demonet. Well, we might. We might. Chill out. Chill out. Actually, I don't even know if it was a good idea to put that shit up there. We trying something new. Hi, SpongeBob. Hi, Patrick. Patrick, why are you out walking the streets in the middle of the night? Uh, isn't that the red sweaty guy you work for? Wasn't there an episode where Patrick wanted a job at the Krusty Krab? Am I tripping or no? Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Stupid. This dude, Patrick, is so fake. This whole time he wanted a job. Now he's a sweaty ass boss. What is that? What could that word be though? So y'all, y'all are really sitting up here telling me that cuss words are sentence enhancers to make you sound more fancy. So if I call you a, you gonna say that 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 sentence is enhancing? You don't feel no type of way about what I just said to you. You don't feel no type of way about that? Lovely day we're having, isn't he it? He definitely said the F word with that. Yes, day is particularly lovely. You know what's crazy about this interaction? They know Patrick and SpongeBob know all these cuss words, but Patrick ain't never been to school. We ain't never heard him read no book. He could barely read the name Mr. Krabs, but he know all the sentence enhancers. SpongeBob, where is your mother? license at where's your bike at didn't you have some propeller bike patrick why are you walking around in the middle of the night looking for trash you walked up on the back of the crap of the crusty crab talking about high garbage man y'all ain't even saying anything now y'all is just cuss hello customers nice day we're having huh bro if you walk into a store and you say hello customers Nice, nice day, day we're having. Uh -huh. Nobody will really act like this. Somebody, people gonna keep eating. I know I will. I'll be sitting there like, "Hello, customers. Nice day we're having." Uh -huh. You motherfucking right. God bless. <laughs> like everybody acting like they never heard that word before. That's why I really gotta understand what are you actually saying. I never really looked at the people in here. Are you in your draws, my guy, bro? Mr. Krabs don't care where that dollar come from. He said, clothes, shoes, drawers, it don't matter. Do you have 50 doubloons? Get you a sandwich and sit down. You ain't got no, whoa. Okay. I thought this was a restaurant, not a gutter mouth convention. Bro, first of all, first of all, y'all are gonna end up looking just like him if y'all keep sitting down in y'all seat, fortniting all night like this, trying to build battle. Look at this, this is a build battle champion. Look at him now though. <laughs> And he still ain't learned. He had the crazy crap eating a fast food hamburger. You don't get your old ass some soup? Why? How did you get here alone? Big ass pizza wheel on his on his cart. Pizza, pizza. You said like me? No, sir. I'm standing up. I'm standing up. Patty, patty, served in a greasy sauce and real soup. Perfection. SpongeBob, you ain't never once got on the intercom and done none of this, shit, bro. Now, you, now all of a sudden you got to tell everybody the entire recipe. We're not at the chum bucket. If Plankton was in here right now, the whole show would be over. You lose. He ain't never once did that. And not only that, you didn't cook that. Who made them burgers? You just got to work. What, you got spaghetti in your burgers? What is that fat meatball? Okay, so mama a freak. Let's be honest, mama a freak. She got... Two kids by Tyrone down the block. Tyrone shot the club up full of ink. Then she had three kids by Stephen White. Stephen said, I got this 401k. What's happening? And of course, Tyrone kid is the one laughing the hardest, bro. Look at Tyrone. And of course, he get a fucking sword on his head, though. You have ears? 
Look at the dude who played Patrick. I mean Squidward. Look at the dude who played Squidward. Did you think Squidward IRL was happy? Looked like this? This dude's name is Roger Bump Ass. He's still happy though. Even with a name like that, he's still happy. So you gotta recognize life is what you make it. Somebody said, look at his hairline. The thing, the thing that that like like all my, all my white viewers, all my white viewers, look, 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 look. Y'all have like, y'all don't have to worry about things like a hairline. I'm telling you, none of us is looking at a white dude and being like, damn, your hairline is crisp. Because a lot of y'all don't even have lines. Like y'all got waves, oceans. Y'all have waves, don't get me wrong. Y'all have waves, but it's not like black people waves. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Y'all hair kind of look like, I don't know. I don't know. Let me just keep going before y'all start leaving me. No, Rachel. I, uh, yo, I love y'all. Squidward, how the f*** are ya? Nice. Time! <laughs> huh? Did we just see naked Mr. Krabs' ass on a toilet? Bro. <laughs> this man has a whole security system for when customers leave. All hands on deck! Batten the front doors! So he just boo-boo. Look at Squidward. Just cool, calm, collected. Squidward. Don't give a f***. Patrick, if you don't square up on him, you do not owe him shit, bro. You, that is not your boss, bro. Hesitation. Yo, Patrick, 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 you have got to say something, bro. Watch out, watch out. The first word, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. The first bad word that I was ever introduced to as a kid, and I almost got my ass whoop for this because my sister snitched on me Brittany you know you you know you told dad I don't know why you told him because you knew I didn't know what the f I was talking about I was just making jokes the first cuss word I ever heard was it was it's not even a cuss word it's not even a cuss word it, you be, you'd be like what let me give context because it's gonna sound weird if I just say it so we had some we had some neighbors you know they was cool as f we was probably like 10 years old 11 years old and uh, you know, my mom and dad, they didn't cuss growing up. But our neighbors definitely cussed. And they they like they like the neighbors, so we would go hang out with them and play. They was probably like three brothers, nine, eleven, thirteen years old. I'm eleven, my sister's probably thirteen. And we go over there and we hear one of them call the other brother. Basically he says, Shut up, needle And I heard that and I was like, Needle that sounds hilarious. My sister's there, I'm like, Yeah, you too, shut up, needle She looked at me and said, Dad! What does that mean? I'm over here thinking like needle, haystack, uh, I didn't know what a d was, bro. I really didn't know. I'm over here, I, I call my shit a bing banger, a wally poly, a ding a lang, but d I wasn't, I wasn't up on that yet. Mind you, mind you, mind you, I'm a late bloomer, I'm a late bloomer. I get to the house, I'm like, cause I'm like, oh my, well dad probably gonna think it's funny. Why did my dad take me straight to the bathroom? Get the belt like this. I'm like, I don't even know what that word means. He's like, oh, for real? I'm like, dad, you was about to whoop me before asking any questions. My dad was a trip back in the day. Now I'm sitting here thinking about it. This nigga Ike Turner low key. I'm like, I don't even know what a needle is, dad. He's like, oh, my fault. Like, dad. There are 13 bad words. Don't you mean there are only seven? Not if you're a sailor. Let me think, let me think. Seven. The B word, the A word, the F word, the S word. Anything else is like, I don't know. Is MF considered its own? Nah, 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 nah. The P word, okay, I'll give you that, Glocks. The P word, the N word, golly, I'm sure. The C word, the D word. Did I already say the C word? No. What do sailors be saying? Because classy sophisticates like us should not stain our lips with cursing. <laughs> Yo, what do Patrick be doing under that rock, bro? You could barely read the word crabs. Stupid. But now you know sophisticated and stain? You just nigga know alliteration now? Ooh. My turn. SpongeBob just won! SpongeBob just won! He's at the finish line! He just won! Why, why are we still playing? Bro, he just won the whole game! That's automatic victory! Escalators, escalators, escalators! 
Escalators. Oh no, somebody said check the dice. This man cheating. Ah, escalators. Eels. Ah. Now I think I think right there they definitely made him say a word that I'm not even finna try and get y'all to read, but just read his mouth one more time. Read his mouth one more time. Ah. This show was my sister. This was my sister. I said one word and she goes straight to Mr. Edmund Sr. He said some things. What kind of things? Well, he said. Wasn't that dude in the back one of the people who left earlier? No, 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 no. The dude in the back. Wait, wasn't that him? <laughs> Y'all need to report Mr. To Krabs to somebody. Understand. Take his whole f bank account. Like, look at your mouth. Look at your mouth. Y'all know what that word is. Y'all know what that word is, bro. I'm not even finna sit up here and act like y'all don't. Now he grabbing y'all by the draws like... Why? I would've went smooth the f*** home. Wait a minute, 40 lashes? Did, did Mr. Krabs just say he was finna come outside and whoop these two grown ass men in public? And they're waiting? Fresh coat of paint from okay. top to bottom. Wow! <laughs> oh, oh my foot! We're gonna tell your mom, Mr. Krabs! Yo, what's up with this city and snitching, bro? Trey, wait! Can't nobody just, like, let it slide? Like, come on, man. It was terrible. And he and he Mrs. Krabs, my poor old heart. <sighs> what did these foul mouth even start to... Is that bro i never i never saw that before mr Krabs live a double life bro he owes somebody something bro you ever just look at a cartoon and be like what was the artist thinking with this like how did you get to this design did you did you picture it or was this like just trial and error and you just kind of ended up here like you're like okay mrs Krabs is gonna hit her toe and then i'm gonna make her mouth fly out of her mouth Glasses in the sky, eyeballs double the size. Like, I don't get that, bro. What? It's old man Jenkins and his jalopy. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. This made no sense to me, though. Howdy, Mrs. K. Okay, Miss K. That made no sense to me. And so, you know what else made no sense? The Nosferatu. On the Halloween episode that they had did. It was like, Nosferatu. And that guy shows up. I never got that. I'm like, what does this even mean?